Hi there, this is James Rolfe speaking for Hypnosis Without Trance and it's the 24th of December, which of course is Christmas Eve. Now where I am in the UK, there is a covering of snow outside at the moment, which is wonderful, but unfortunately I think it's going to melt by tomorrow. I can hear the drip, drip, dripping from the roof, so I don't think we're going to have that white Christmas. I'm going to talk to you about the hypnotic relationship. I'm doing this on my webcam, by the way, which is a, an experiment for me. Normally I record things on, uh, on my Flip Ultra. I haven't got an endorsement deal with these, but I really, really love this camera. It's fantastic. I'm doing this on the webcam, which I'm not sure I like, because looking at it now, I look about 10 years older than I am. And uh, I want to talk to you about something which I think is really quite key in doing good hypnosis, doing hypnosis well. And that's a concept, it's a mindset of what I call the hypnotic partnership. Very quickly, the hypnotic partnership is the idea that hypnosis isn't really something that you as a hypnotist do to somebody as a subject. You don't hypnotize somebody as such. What you're really doing is creating an experience for them and with them. There are two people in this experience. There are two people in the process that's creating this experience, and that's you, the hypnotist, and the subject. And this is why I, I think of this as a hypnotic partnership. Now there are two clear distinct roles in this partnership, I'll come back to that in a moment, but I just want you to realise this now. This partnership is every bit like a dance. Now I don't know whether you've uh, ever, ever done any formal dancing or anything, but think about it like this. If you're going to dance with somebody, if you're going to tango, if you're going to salsa, whatever, you, you both need to be up for doing it. You can't have one person forcing the other one to dance and get a good result and get some good dancing going on. It's just not gonna happen. And this is very much the case with hypnosis. This is why I think it's important to understand things in terms of a hypnotic partnership rather than you, the powerful hypnotist, doing something to some passive subject. It doesn't really work like that. So let me talk about the two roles in the hypnotic partnership. And, and what the responsibility, so to speak, of those roles are. First of all, there's the hypnotist, obviously, and then there's the subject. Now, your role as a hypnotist is to facilitate the experience. Your role is to engage people through, through your tools of communication, verbal and nonverbal. Your job is to engage the subject's beliefs, engage the subject's imagination, lead them into hypnotic loops. You are facilitating a process. The subject, on the other hand, their job is to generate the hypnotic phenomena, is to generate the altered state of reality. Now when I say their job is to do this, it makes it sound like it's conscious. It's not. It comes from their inner mind, but it's worth remembering that, that you as a hypnotist do not create the altered reality that the subject experiences. They create it themselves from their inner mind. They have that power and capability within them. It's always worth you bearing that in mind. And I think it's a wonderful thing to let the subject know that because it's empowering for them to know that they have the capability within them to literally shift and alter their reality. Now it's useful to think in terms of a hypnotic partnership because it's more likely to engender cooperation and you need cooperation. Remember the dance metaphor. If somebody doesn't want to dance with you and isn't going to cooperate with you, you can't really dance with them. So you need to engender cooperation. If you want to play the big dominant hypnotist role, that works for some people. But it also generates in a lot of people a lot of resistance. If you set up a frame of cooperation, a spirit of cooperation, by thinking and feeling that hypnotic partnership, by knowing that's how it needs to be within yourself, you'll, you'll engender that cooperation that you need. The last one thing I'm going to quickly say about that, a lot of people, hypnotists I know, will often open up the question, have you ever been hypnotized before? I never open up with that question because hypnotized suggests them being passive, me being active. It suggests that I'm going to do something to them. And I think in a lot of people that can set up that little bit of resistance. So thinking from the perspective of the hypnotic partnership, I will often ask the question, have you ever experienced hypnosis before? There's a slightly different frame around that. Have you ever experienced hypnosis before? Suggest that it is something to experience, not something to passively receive. It's something to experience. And experience is something that you get actively involved in, I think. I think it's got a bit more of a dynamic frame to it. That's all I'm going to say because I want to keep this video short and hopefully packed with useful information. 
Think about that, remember that, keep that in your mind, keep that in your heart, that it's a partnership. You're gonna work with that person. You facilitate it, you take the lead, you're the, the leader there. You, when, when you dance with somebody, there's always a, uh, someone who takes the lead. You're taking the lead as the hypnotist, but it is a partnership, and ultimately, it will be the subject that generates the subject's inner mind that generates the shift in reality that you're going after. Okay, I hope that's been useful for you. If you celebrate Christmas, have a wonderful Christmas, and I shall speak to you again probably in the new year. Take care.